So um, we're going to try and um, change generating colors. The way you do it is, um, like I told you, uh, I was talking in the last video, inside your SCSS, inside your custom, you can start changing default colors. For instance, here, I've changed the default background color. Look at body BG. I've changed it to this color. That's why when you're looking at the background of this page, it's like this. But the original Udemy page, the background is a little closer to white. Not exactly white, but somewhere close. So, or gray. So you save. Make sure you have your if you save it to not work, make sure you have your GOP watch working so that GOP will compile this into a CSS file, into this uh, CSS file. So to do that, uh, open your command prompt. Make sure you're already in this folder. Your command prompt is pointing to this folder. So we can do GOP. If you do GOP, it will, it will compile it once. But if you do GOP watch, it means anytime you change it, you don't have to run GOP again. It will compile it by itself. So if you wait a few seconds, this will compile and build a new CSS file for you. So while it's compiling, um, we can go to go to Bootstrap. If you want to understand more, go to Bootstrap, um, Bootstrap Getting Started Team. Just click on Getting Started, click on Teaming, and then you can read through. Look at what I just pasted there, background BG. If you look at this file, you see that this is just what I just did. Background BG, you can put the color. And then uh, everything will not work unless you imported the SCS bootstrap, the bootstrap inside your node modules, the bootstrap inside here, and that's what we just imported here. And then you can start changing a number of other um, options. Like um, all these things that didn't come from my head, it is all here. You can change team colors, primary, uh, secondary, danger. These are two examples they gave, which means if you want to change the color of the button, Anywhere we use danger, it will change. So if we change this color to, let's say, blue. If we now say uh, somewhere around here, if we change this danger, and we return to our platform, uh, keep your eye on this button. And also, this background, I've changed this background. And, uh, so this background is changed a little. And then look at the button. So generally, anything that has danger will change. Look at all these buttons I've changed to this color. Look at everything. Look at these buttons. Everything that has red danger in the settings uh, will change automatically. Look at all these buttons I've changed. So that is basically teaming. This is where you change most of the um, items. So I just um, went back so that um, to uh, remove the changes. Now, if you want to uh, know what to change, I know which variables to change. You have to go to node modules, go to bootstrap. Um, bootstrap. Where is it? Bootstrap. Then you go to SCSS variables or that's underscore variables dot SCSS. So everything you see here basically you can change it. If you're looking at this file, you see that um, it comes with this default flag. This default flag is the opposite of important flag. If you add important in your in any CSS property, it means that that must be implemented. But if you have default, default means that if there is no other overriding of value, this is what it will use. So if we wanted to change this, we can just copy this to our SCSS file and start changing it straight up. So we can copy this to our file. So basically, anything you want to change, you come here, look at it, copy it directly, then bring it to this file and run your changes. Paste it here, remove all the defaults, and start changing. So basically that is it. This is where you run the changes and it will compile. Now somebody might be wondering, what if I host this website? Do I still need Gulp? No, you don't need Gulp if you host the website. You never ever need Gulp when you host the website. So the reason is simple. Uh, Gulp will compile you the CSS file. The CSS file is all you need to host the website. So you just you only need Gulp during development. All right. So these are these are gray colors. This is white color. These are different shades of gray. So if you just go to this file inside Bootstrap and um, you copy any default value you want, come to this file, paste it, and start adjusting it. All right. As you adjust it, your Gulp watch 
we'll recompile it and then you will see it in effect uh, right here so thank you very much i hope this whole bootstrapping um, uh, stuff made sense to you don't forget to um, get the source code from my github repository so if you go to github.com slash devozalo that's my main and then when it opens up you can check for bootstrap for udemy uh, clone so once you get it you, um, if there's any code i wrote that you didn't get well you can always copy from there so if you come to my repository my github you click on repositories i have 62 72 you click on bootstrap for udemy clone and then you can uh, click here and download it all right or you can just click on any file and view it so i hope this whole tutorial made sense and made a lot of um, taught you a lot of things about bootstrap uh, don't forget to um, ask any questions if you have questions in the comment section see you guys